What's up guys? Welcome back to Rowan Jones Outdoors. So this morning I'm going to be fishing at a private pond that I've been given access to. And actually I'm going to be fishing at two private ponds. There are two ponds on this property. Um, you guys will be hearing a lot of cows because as you can see there are a lot of cows here. Um, not too big of a pond. Um, however, there are some pretty decent fish in here. I uh, actually just caught a pretty good one uh, last week. Um, but anyways, we're gonna, it's about 57 degrees out right now. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to catch something good. Um, it has been tremendously hot the past little bit. So it's been really hard for me and Tyler to catch anything. Um, but hopefully we'll have some luck today. Um, so stay tuned and hope you enjoy the video. All right, guys, so I have come to find out that the fish at this pond, for some reason, really love chatterbaits. So I've got two setups here. I've got a mini white chatterbait on this one, and then I've got a bigger black and blue chatterbait with a baby pack crawl on it. I'm going to test them both out here. All right guys, so I am very upset right now. Um, so what happened and what you guys missed is I casted my chatterbait out and I thought I was recording, but apparently my SD card was full, so it stopped recording. And my chatterbait had got caught in some weeds and so I was reeling it in and it was skimming across the top of the water and literally right here in front of me at the bank a bass just came up and top watered onto my chatterbait right at the bank and i got it reeled in so since i was not able to catch it on camera because my sd card was full and it stopped recording and i didn't know it i'll go ahead and show you guys a picture of it actually better yet instead of a picture here's the slow-mo release of it Chatterbait on now. I'm gonna see what we can get here. Oh! Oh, yep. I've already got a bite. It's a little dink, but he hit right on that. <laughs> oh, wow. Look how tiny that thing is. Ooh, that is small. That is what you call a dink right there. Not even a pound at all all right all right guys so since that fish we haven't had any look at this pond so i'm packing up and i'm going to head up to the top pond where i'm going to cast out the chatterbait a little bit more then i'm going to put on some catfish bait and see if we can't get us a few catfish uh, so stay tuned and hopefully we have some luck
Alrighty, we are at the second pond. Now, let's see what we can get up here. So we have gotten one fish down at the other pond that sadly I was not able to get on camera because my camera stopped recording due to the SD card being full. So I had to get a different, I had to delete some stuff off my SD card. And, but I did get some pictures of it. But hopefully we can get something on camera for you guys up here. I have a, a little bit of scum on the water this morning, but that's all right, that's all right. We're gonna start off with a chatterbait again. All right, move this other set up out of the way. Got a little whopper plopper on it. All right, let's see what we get today. All right guys, I wasn't having any luck with the black and blue chatterbait, so I have switched over to the white mini chatterbait. I'm gonna see if we get any luck with it. Oh, I think I got one. I think I got one. Yep, I do. There we go. Oh, no, it came off right there at the dock. Oh, man. That was a good one, too. Ah, well, y'all saw. I, I had one. But uh, he decided he didn't want to stay on there. He didn't want me to bring him on to the dock. <sighs> well, sad, sad, sad. I guess let's just see if we can get another. All right, guys, we're not having any more luck with the chatterbait, so I'm gonna go get some catfish bait, come right back, and we'll see what we can get. All right, guys, so gonna have a little feeding frenzy here. Catfish. Some bluegills. They really love bread. Trying to get them wild up here. I'm gonna try to catch me a catfish. So I'm seeing one, two, three, at least five catfish here. Pretty good, decent size. Along with the uh, bluegills and I've got primo super sticky bait I didn't have a bait holder so what I did is I had a old t-shirt and I've cut it up into little pieces I'm gonna put the bait into that and hopefully just hopefully be able to catch us a catfish with my stinky bait and hope and pray that this works oh 
Oh, yep, it worked. <laughs> Looky there, guys. Looky there. We got us a catfish. We got us a catfish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Pretty decent one too. Pretty decent one. It's pretty. Whew, that's a nice one. Now let's let him back. All right, all right, catfish number one. Now, let's see if we can get a second one. Oh, oh I got something. <laughs> I got a bluegill, that's what I got. Oh, that is a toad right there. Look at that. Is a toad. It's a pretty one though. Very pretty. Back in you go. All right. <laughs> oh, we got some. Oh yeah, we got a catfish. <laughs> And he's putting up a fight too. Alrighty, catfish number two of the day. Oh, oh. Never mind, he he just drug it right back down. He is just a thrash. Come on, tire down, baby. Tire down. Tire down. Tire down. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Now the reason I'm not going ahead and having like pulling him out of the water is just because where he's thrashing around so much. I don't want him to come off of there. I want to. I've already lost one fish today, and I don't want to lose another. So I'm just going to let him get tired, and then once he gets tired, I'll bring him up. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. That is number two for the day. Catfish, number two for the day. Now that's another pretty one. Very pretty. in my pocket. Some more pictures. Ooh. All right. That's number two. I'm going to let him go on this side here. So that was catfish number two. Oh yeah. <laughs> gotcha boy. You ain't getting away from me. <laughs> This is catfish number three. Oh, buddy. Okay. He's going under the dock. He's going under the dock. Come on. Come back up. Come back up. Come back up. Come on, baby. 
Come. 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 There we go. Oh, buddy. That's not good. That's not good. Come on. Got to tighten my drag up a lot here. There we go. All right. All right. Number three. Number three. Hey there, buddy. Hey there, buddy. Hey there. Hey there. Calm down. Stay calm. Get this hook out of you. <laughs> Number three, guys. The only thing about catfishing is it's a waiting game. You gotta wait for them to hit. When we're bass fishing, you know, it's how slower you're constantly casting out, reeling in, casting out, reeling in. And then boom, one hits. Catfishing it, you cast out, you let it sink to the bottom, and you just wait and wait. But I love catfishing, I love catfishing just as much as I, oh, yep, got another. Ooh, that one's a fighter. Oh, he's got himself wrapped up in the, tangled up in the line. Oh no, he's going under the dock. Get back out here. Nope, nope, nope. Not under the dock. These no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you are. Alrighty. Whew. That is number four, guys. Catfish number four. Look at there, buddy. That wasn't so hard. Why can't you just relax? There's another pretty one. Another pretty one. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> All right. Let's let you go. All right, guys. So that was number four. I'm gonna get my hook back on. And give me some more bait and cast back out and see if we can get another so hopefully we'll start getting some more bites right now i'm fine with getting a bite from anything whether it's a bass a catfish a crappie a bluegill i do not care and so right now i've got the z-man chatterbait with a baby pack of crawl attached as a trailer um, I've had some pretty good luck with this one. Um, it's caught me quite a few bass, especially at these two ponds I'm at today. Um, so hopefully it'll continue that luck and I'll get me another one today. Oh, yeah just got one come on stay down oh yeah there it is so as y'all remember earlier I had cast it out and I'd got one and lost it at the dock well I just cast it out right in the same spot as earlier and finally got one in 
Now if I can just get this hook out. Come on, buddy. Got it right in the roof of the mouth. Right in the roof of the mouth. I don't want to come out. There we go. All right. So, there we go. We got one here, boys and girls. It's a pretty one. About a pound, I'd say. Get a couple pictures of it. Alright, back you go, buddy. <laughs> that thing just came right back out of the water. It's like, I don't want to go. Alright. Chatterbait and Packer Craw. You are still holding up. It's still doing good for me.